South Carolina HOSA, are you ready? In one minute, we will begin our awards program to recognize those students who will represent our great state at the International Leadership Conference. At this time, please join me in welcoming, live via Skype, your 2019-2020 South Carolina HOSA Executive Council, your parliamentarian from South Carolina's Governor's School of Science and Mathematics, Druvi Patel, your historian from Berkeley High School, Noah Thomas, your reporter from the Center for Advanced Technical Studies, Kelsey Cruzen. Your secretary from Aiken County Career and Technology Center, Courtney Tarvin. Your post-secondary vice president from Clemson University and alumni of White Knoll High School, Keegan Shropshire. Your vice president from Wofford College and alumni of Ashley Ridge High School, Emily Hathcock. And your president from Spring Valley High School, Pullavi Rao. Good evening, SC HOSA. Your state officers would like to welcome you to South Carolina HOSA's 42nd Leadership Conference Closing and Grand Awards Program. This session concludes our first ever virtual conference filled with competitive events, elections, and even some educational symposia. Right, Emily? Yes, if you all haven't taken advantage of the educational symposia, make sure to check them out on the state leadership page on the South Carolina HOSA website. Keegan, can you tell us about our numbers of membership involvement this year? Thank you, Emily. As of today, we have 4,640 members in South Carolina. There are over 1,776 hosts and members representing 92 chapters that register for original state conference. Since converting to a virtual platform, 653 members from 52 chapters across the state register for this virtual conference. Back to you, Paula V. During this closing session, recognition will be given to some of these outstanding secondary and post-secondary students. South Carolina HOSA members and honored guests, I now declare the award session of the 42nd Annual State Leadership Conference to be in session. It is my pleasure to welcome Kimberly Jones from Orangeburg Technical Center to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the
Kimberly for the Star Spangled Banner. It is now our pleasure to recognize those people who have helped to make this 42nd annual conference a huge success. Thank you to the SC HOSA Executive Committee and board members for working hard to plan, organize, and facilitate this conference. Your commitment to doing what is best for HOSA members is applauded. Also, thank you to all school and district teachers, employees, and administrators for supporting your students through not only this virtual conference, but through the distance learning process as well. Kelsey, am I forgetting anyone? The judges. These individuals had the most difficult jobs at the conference. Thank you, competitive event judges, for scoring our events. Many of the judges were new teachers participating through Direct 4, who were fulfilling their last assignment before finishing their state certification classes. A special thank you to you, and we hope you enjoyed the process and learned a lot that will assist you in supporting your students in future conferences. Last but not least, we thank our parents who have offered us encouragement for many years. Hey, don't forget our partners and donors. Our partners and donors made it possible to offer $14,500 in scholarships to 22 HOSA students. This virtual conference has been great. We were able to offer 50 competitive events and recognition events along with virtual voting for our officer candidates. The competitive events process and awards are the highlight of our yearly conference, but before we get to that, we would like to recognize a few schools and some very special students. Ms. Haynes, our South Carolina HOSA board chair, will recognize this first group of students. Of course, it's now my privilege to thank seven outstanding officers for their diligent service this past year to South Carolina HOSA. We would like to honor our executive council with plaques at this time. Your parliamentarian, Druvi Patel. Your historian, Noah Thomas. Your reporter, Kelsey Cruzen. Your secretary, Courtney Tarvin. Your post-secondary vice president, Keegan Shropshire. Your vice president, Emily Hathcock. And your president, Paula V. Rao. Please join me once again as we thank our officer team for serving South Carolina so well this past year. At this time, the new officers for the 2020-2021 school year will be announced. So, officer team, your historian reporter, from Spring Hill High School, Vishwa Diwan. Your secretary, from Nation Ford High School, Juhi Patel. Your lower state vice president, from Colleton County High School, Logan Bailey. Your upper state vice president, Clemson University, Keegan Shropshire. Your Executive Vice President. From the Center for Public Health and Medical Studies, Skylar Hayes. And your President, from the South Carolina Governor's School of Science and Mathematics, Druvi Patel. Congratulations to all the new state officers. Team 43, check your inbox soon for instructions on upcoming virtual meetings and leadership training. In June 2018, voting delegates at the International Leadership Conference chose the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation as our national service project. Many of your schools have participated in this project, and we would like to thank you all for your support throughout the past two years. Thank you to all the chapters who donated to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. As of March 10th, South Carolina HOSA raised approximately $11,247.67.
Wow, Kelsey, that's a lot. You can find a list of all those who donated in the conference program on the SD Host website and on the following slides. The Bronze Award, donated from schools from $100 to $499. The Academy for Technology and Academics. The Center for Public Health and Medical Studies. The FD Johnson Technology Center. The G. Frank Russell Career Center. The Lower Richland High School. Pelion High School. The South Carolina Governor's School for Science and Mathematics. And White Knoll High School. Our silver awards were donated from schools at $500 to $990. These are the Aiken Career Center, the East Side High School, and Gilbert High School. Lastly, our gold schools, which donated $1,000 or more, are Ashley Ridge High School, Technology Center, Lexington Technology Center, the Pickens County Career and Technology Center, and Somerville High School. The chapter that raised the most money this year is Ashley Ridge High School with $2,000 donated to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. Together, we are creating aware a community of awareness amongst our students while benefiting the lives affected by pediatric cancer. We realize that some schools made donations after the posted state deadline. If you like for your donations to be considered for recognition at International Hosted Leadership Conference in June, don't forget to register online. Courtney, what other chap chapter recognitions do we have? There are other chapters that we would like to recognize. There are new chapters attending this conference for the first time, and we would like to give them a shout out. New chapters participating in this conference are Cyber Academy, Dorchester County Career Center of Somerville, Riverside High School, and Southside High School. These chapters will be receiving a plaque in the mail commemorating their charter. To see all new charters, please turn to page 28 in the conference program posted online. Hey, wait, there's a few more chapters that deserve some recognition. Kelsey, help me out here. Sure, Noah. We want to recognize the chapter with the largest membership in SC HOSA. A few chapters got really close, but Pickens County Career Center had the most registered members at 135. Oh, wow, that's a lot of members. We would also like to give a shout out to the chapter with the most students registered for this virtual conference. Lower Richland High School had 56 registered members. Congratulations to these chapters for setting milestones this year. Ms. Haynes, do we have any other recognitions before we start handing out the medals? Yes, Keegan. The following student members were nominated by their chapters as outstanding hosts of members in their local, local chapters. So take a look at the following slides.
Now for the main event that you've all been waiting for, the awards ceremony. Each of you who competed this week should take pride in your study and preparation, in your chapter involvement, and your desire to make a difference for your future through healthcare. This year, we welcome back Alan Siegler to announce all of the event winners. Good evening, South Carolina HOSA. The National Competitive Events Program is implemented in South Carolina as an integral part of health science education curriculum. HOSA competitive events are learning activities designed to extend and expand the instructional program and to evaluate students' knowledge and skill development. The events comprising the program are divided into six categories and into two divisions, secondary and post-secondary. Judges were asked to select five finalists in each event and to designate the students achieving first, second, and third place. First, second, and third place winners automatically qualify for the ILC. If, for any reason, one of them cannot attend, fourth and then fifth place finalists are eligible to attend. The order in which the five finalists are called does not reflect their standing. We start tonight with our health science related events, starting with dental terminology in the post-secondary division. Congratulations to our first place winner, Elliot Hill from Clemson University. Our next event is dental terminology in the secondary division. Our finalists in random order, Tommy Lee, Madeline Bodkin, Amber Huggins, Cameron Powell, and Emily Bolton. For our winners, third place, Emily Bolton, and second place, Madeline Bodkin. And in first place for dental terminology is Tommy Lay. Our next event are our knowledge tests. The first knowledge test is behavioral health for the secondary division. Our finalists, Kaylin Smith, Johanna Bodkin, Hallie Cohen, Natalie Boggs, and Amisha Hoke. And for our winners, in third place, Kaylin Smith. In second place, Natalie Boggs. And in first place, Hallie Cohen. Our next event is Cultural Diversity and Disparities in Healthcare in the Secondary Division. Our finalists, Niha Rayala, Brenda Ramirez Perez, Aisha Sadiq, Trang Den, and our winners, Trang Den, third place, and second place, Aisha Sadiq, and for first place, Niha Rayala. Our next event is Human Growth and Development for the Secondary Division. Our finalists in random order, Daniel Frank, Abigail Bucks, Tori Harris, Kushi Dave, Dana Dedrick. And now our winners in Human Growth and Development. Third place, Kushi Dave. Second place, Abigail Bucks. And in first place, Dana Dedrick. Our next event is Medical Law and Ethics for the Secondary Division. Our finalists in random order, Rhea Patel, Avery Evett, Lainey West, Vishwa Diwan, and Lara Witt. And our winners, in third place, Rhea Patel. In second place, Vishwa Diwan, and in first place, Laura Witt. Our next event is the Knowledge Test of Nutrition in the Secondary Division. Our finalists in random order, Caroline McJunkin, Haley Young, Abigail Richardson, Brock Eastman, and Leanna Kim. And now our winners. In third place is Brock Eastman. Second place, Haley Young. And in first place, Leanna Kim. Our next event is Pathophysiology. Our finalist in random order, Riley Lambert, Hannah Scott, Erica Van Alstein, Ashika Sharma, and Caleb Moody. And now our winners, in third place, Hannah Scott. 
In second place, Caleb Moody. And in first place, Erica Van Alstein. Our next event is Pharmacology in the secondary division. Our finalist in random order, Lauren King, Madison Tyndall, Megan Carnahan, Sage Jordan, and Scarlett Saida. Our winners for Pharmacology, third place is Lauren King, second place, Megan Carnahan, and in first place, Scarlett Saida. Now our finalists for medical math in the secondary division. Vans Nap Nagpal, Anam Hasni, Katie Chung, David Arnold, and Kirby Sheely. And our winners in medical math. Third place goes to Anam Hasni. Second place is Katie Chung. And in first place is Kirby Sheely. Our next event is Medical Reading. Our finalist in random order, Maria White, Harley Gresham, Katherine Jackson, Caroline Holbrook, Anaya Hoda. And our winners for Medical Reading. In third place is Caroline Holbrook. In second place, Harley Gresham. And in first place is Maria White. Now our finalist for the next event is Medical Spelling. In random order, Chloe Kendall, Dhruvi Patel, Kamara Crummy, Lee, or correction, Mary Lee, and Sahar Avedia. And now our winners in Medical Spelling. In third place is Kamara Crummy. In second place, Chloe Kendall. And in first place, Sahar Avedia. Our next event is medical terminology for the post-secondary division. Congratulations to our second place winner, Kayla Adams from the University of South Carolina. And in first place, Drew Belsha from Clemson University. And now our finalists for medical terminology in the secondary division, in random order, Alfred Lee. Sydney Sane, Rashida Takala, Amari Kirkland, and Avidi Pudapetti. Now our winners for medical terminology in the secondary division. In third place, Sydney Sane. And in second place, Rashida Takala. And first place, Alfred Lee. Now we move into our Health Professions events. Our first event in this category is Biomedical Laboratory Science for the Secondary Division. Our finalists in random order, Parth Patel, Carmen Smoke, Kelsey Cruzen, Alexandria Harding, and Kevin Riley. Now for our winners, in third place, Kevin Riley. In second place, Parth Patel, and in first place, Alexandra Harding. Our next event is Clinical Specialty. For the secondary division, our finalists in random order are Callie Brown, Carly Vivas, Spendana Ancori, Maya Brown, and our winners in third place, Maya Brown. And second place, Callie Brown. And in first place, clinical specialty, Spendana Anchory. Our next event is Home Health Aid for the secondary division. And our finalists in random order are Madison Reagan, Tivana Gibson Scott, Reagan Turner, Jada Suswell, and Sanjana Paris. Our winners for Home Health Aid. In third place, congratulations to Madison Reagan. Second place is Reagan Turner. And in first place, Sinjana Paris. 
Congratulations, winners. Our next event is Medical Assisting. Our secondary finalist in random order are Jasmine Urbina, Julissa Rivera, Anahi Ortiz, Gwen Kraus, and Devin Lay. Now our winners. In third place, Jasmine Urbina. In second place, Gwen Kraus. And in first place, Devin Lay. Our next event is Nursing Assisting. Our finalists for the secondary division in random order are Mandy Hooks, Madison Jones, Jessica Ramirez, Swarya Singh, and Brooklyn Grabowski. Now our winners in Nursing Assisting in third place is Madison Jones. In second place, Mandy Hooks. And in first place, Brooklyn Grabowski. Our next event is Personal Care. And in first place in the secondary division, congratulations to Kadiamon Hall. Our next event is Pharmacy Science. Our finalists in random order, Alani Williams. Anna Rojas Ortiz, Judith Beltran, Journey Williams, and Zoe Bennett. And our winners in Pharmacy Science, third place, congratulations to Anna Rojas Ortiz. In second place, Zoe Bennett. And in first place, Judith Beltran. Our finalists in physical therapy, in random order, Julia Griffith, Bentley Clark, Leah Myrick, Kashana Jones, and Tristan Hicks. And now our winners in physical therapy in third place, Tristan Hicks. In second place, Leah Myrick. And in first place, Julia Griffith. Our next event is Sports Medicine. Our finalists are Camille Free, Mia Cambrell, Mackenzie Meyer, Allison Hollingsworth, and Kathleen Melton. Now our winners in Sports Medicine. In third place, Camille Free. In second place, Kathleen Melton. And in first place, Mackenzie Meyer. Our next event is Veterinary Science. For the post-secondary division, our first place winner, congratulations to Morena Fleming from Clemson University. And now for Vet Science, our secondary division, the finalists in random order, Caleb Schindeldecker, Christian Tridel, Ann Barthel, Mackenzie Trotter and Thurston Brown. Now our winners for the secondary division of Vet Science in third place, Thurston Brown. In second place, Christian Tridel. And in first place, Mackenzie Trotter. Congratulations, winners. Our next category is our emergency preparedness events, with the first event being CERT skills. Congratulations to our post-secondary CERT skills winner, the team of Hathcock and Levitt from Wofford College. Now our secondary CERT skills finalists, the team of Curry and Barnett, Smith Moon, Barton and Jones, Keynes and Williams, Smith and Tavin. And now our winners in CERT skills in third place for the secondary division. The teams of Curry and Barnett. In second place, the team of Keynes and Williams. And in first place, the team of Barton and Jones. Next we have our finalists in CPR first aid for the secondary division. In random order, the team of Robinson and Smith. The team of Smith and Wing. 
Filetti and Connor. Wingard and Wingard. Erling and Grachowski. Now our winners in CPR first aid. In third place, the team of Robinson and Smith. In second place, Smith and Wing. And in first place, the team of Wingard and Wingard. Our next event is EMT, Emergency Medical Technician, and the Secondary Division are finalists in random order. The team of Allen and Hall, Tran and Desai, Alexander and Neely, Case and Drasimbiski, Reddy and Retrivian, Gerald and Estes. Now our winners in a medical correction, emergency medical technician for the secondary division. In third place, the team of Allen and Hall. In second place, the team of Case and Drazimski. And in first place for EMT is the team of Tran and Desai. Now our epidemiology event. For the post-secondary division, in first place, Keegan Shropshire from Clemson University. Next event is Epidemiology. Our finalist in random order in the secondary division, Shannon McKenna. Olivia Hardy. Olivia Goodwin. Patrick Cantazero. And Aubrey Best. Now our winners in Epidemiology. In third place, Patrick Cantazero. In second place, Aubrey Best. And in first place, congratulations to Olivia Hardy. Next, we have life support skills in the secondary division. Congratulations to our first place winner, McKenna Young. Our next event is the team event of MRC Partnership in the secondary division. Our finalists in random order are the team of Cargis, Pew, and Thomas. Cable, Disher, Mayetta, Patel, Rubio, and Sebastian. Fosdar, Kimball, Robinette, Royal, and Walker. And Norberto, McCary, and Riley. Now our winners in MRC partnership in third place, the team of Fosdar, Kimball, Robinette, Royal, and Walker. In second place, the team of Norberto, McCary, and Riley. And in first place, the team of Cargis, Pew, Thomas, and Sarmiento. Now we move to our leadership events. Our first event in this category is Extemporaneous Health Poster. In the secondary division, our finalists in random order are Tegan Spirin, Emily House, Parker Dram. Valency Harrison, and Amari Hardy. Our winners in Extemp Health Poster. In third place, Emily House. In second place, Amari Hardy. And in first place, Valency Harrison. Our next event is Extemporaneous Writing. For the secondary division, our finalists in random order are Trinity Bailey, Bailey Earls, Tahera Islam, and Angela Dunster. Now we congratulate our winners for extemp writing. In third place, Angela Dunster. In second place, Tahera Islam. And in first place, Trinity Bailey. We now our next event is Health Career Photography for Post Secondary Division. Let's congratulate our first place winner, Edgar. Zamorano Morales from Clemson University. Now move on to our next event, Health Career Photography. For the secondary division, our finalists are Hari Kumar, Jade Edwards, Madison Strickland, Helly Shaw, and Brianna Spires. Our winners in third place, Brianna Spires. In second place, Hari Kumar. And in first place, Jade Edwards. Our next event is Healthy Lifestyle. In the secondary division, our finalists, 
Jerzy Bochinski, Madison Kutila, Noah Cook, and Joshua Reyes. Our winners in Healthy Lifestyle in third place, Madison Kutala. In second place, Joshua Reyes. And in first place, Jerzy Bochinski. Our next event is interviewing skills for the secondary division. We congratulate our first place winner, Caleb Lee. Our next event is job seeking skills. In the secondary division, our finalists are Ethan Haskin, Jayla Ward, Sarah Smith, Javier Escarton, and Emily White. And our winners. In third place, Emily White. In second place, Jayla Ward. And in first place, Sarah Smith. Our next event is Prepared Speaking in the Secondary Division. Our finalist in random order, Alexis Davis, Cadence Gillaspi, Pulavi Rao, Alan Dave Cabanyan, and Lee Buncombe. Our winners in Prepared Speaking, in third place, Lee Buncombe. And in second place, Alexis Davis. And in first place, Pulavi Rao. Our next event is Research Persuasive Speaking and Writing. Our finalists in random order, Skylar Hayes, Angie Kyle, Jameen Shaw, Robert Duckett, and Ashraf Wafaya. And our winners for Research Persuasive Writing and Speaking. In third place, Skylar Hayes. In second place, Robert Duckett. And in first place, Jameen Shaw. Now we move into our Teamwork Events category, with our first event being Biomedical Debate in the Secondary Division. Our finalists for Biomedical Debate in random order, the teams of Francis Hendricks, Circle, Williams, Mazik, Witcher, Seapolt, Rogers, Contreras, and Bonner and Patel. Now our winners in Biomedical Debate. In third place, the team of Seapolt, Rogers, and Contreras. In second place, the team of Bonner and Patel. And in first place, the team of Gunter, Hendricks, and Circle. Our next event in the Teamwork Events category is Community Awareness. Our finalists are the team of Horton and Wallace, Bratcher, Demiotti, and Wood, Du, Leon, DeSantis, Gilman, Johnson, and Santiago, and team of Shed and Waddell. Now our winners. In third place, the team of Horton and Wallace. In second place, the team of Bratcher, Demiotti, and Wood. And in first place, the team of DeSantis, Gilman, Johnson, and Santiago. Our next event is Creative Problem Solving. Our finalists, the team of Mesa, Bradham, and Burgess. Kirby, Metz, and Patil. Now our winners in Creative Problem Solving in second place, the team of Mesa, Bradham, and Burgess. In first place, the team of Kirby, Metz, and Patil. Our next event is Forensic Medicine. Our finalists in random order, the team of Wright and Myrick. Team of Williams and Pocall. The team of Bailey and Graham. Team of Nelson and Respus. The team of Robertson and Sardil. Now our winners in forensic medicine in third place, the team of Robertson and Sardili. In second place, the team of Williams and Pacall. And in first place, the team of Bailey and Graham. 
Our next event is Health Career Display. And finalists in random order, the team of Binkley and Porter. Mains and Noel. Desai and Shaw. Barnes and Bolonos. Senta and Tripathi. And now our winners for Health Career Display. In third place, the team of Binkley and Porter. In second place, Senta and Tripathi. And in first place, Mains and Nowell. Our next event is Health Education. Our finalist in random order, the team of Batnagar, Desai, Gridar, and Yarladgada. Team of Garrick and Nash. Gadsen, Gambrell, Kerr, and Reed. Nanda and Sakara. And Fitzpatrick and Starnes. Now our winners in health education. In third place, the team of Garrick and Nash. In second place, the team of Botnagar Desai, Gridar, Yarlagata. And in first place, the team of Gatson, Gambrell, Kerr, and Reed. Next event is Hosable. Our finalists are the teams of Cook, Jennings, Brooks, and Griffin. Next is the team of Spencer, Ziegler, Robinson, and Gibson. The team of Moore, Patel, Panetta. The team of Didalot, Floyd, Hursk, Patron, Garcia. The team of Mills, Hamidi, Lopez, and Nandi. Now our winners in Hosable, in third place, the team of Spencer, Ziegler, Robinson, and Gibson. In second place, the team of Cook, Jennings, and Brooks Griffin. And in first place, the team of Didalot, Floyd, Hursk, and Patron Garcia. Congratulations. Our next event is Medical Innovation. Our finalist in random order the team of Beard, Evans, Rocher, and Shurka. Team of Cook and De Marino. Team of Brooks and Patel. The team of Blanchard, McIver, Turner, and Vega. And the team of Cheng and Patel. Our winners in medical innovation for secondary in third place Blanchard, McIver, Turner, Vega. In second place, Beard, Evans, Rosier, and Shura. And in first place, the team of Brooks and Patel. Next event is Public Service Announcement. Our PSA finalist teams are Baca, Hogfer, Vial, Cunningham, Daya, Porter, Rivas, Backman, Cunningham, Glenn, Reinhardt, Robinson, and Smith, and Dabak, Adwali, and Weissman. Our winners for PSA in third place, the team of Dabak, Odwali, and Weissman. In second place, the team of Baca, Hopfir, Vial. And in first place, the team of Bachman, Cunningham, and Kalki. Congratulations to our winners. Over 74 competitors took the Healthcare Issues exam. The top 15% of our competitors will receive certificates and are eligible to compete for this scholarship at the International HOSA Leadership Conference. Our winners in the Healthcare Issues exam are Darve Williams, Michael Keynes, Kiara Jones, Jaden Sims, Laura Witt, Harmony Hendricks, Aubrey Price, Zoe Leaphart, Francis Gunter, Amya Bryant, Jada Suswell, Tamia Weston, and Destiny Jordan. Next is our Barbara James Service Award winners. Our winners in the bronze level, Chloe Ann Cook. Maddie Faircloth, Lakika Cassetti, 
Logan Knudsen, Alicia Mack, Shrika Ravachandran, Neha Rayala, Jameen Shaw, Ashwarya Singh, Kenzie Smith, and Laura Witt. Our recipients at the silver level include Helen Cable, Ali Cook, Bishwa Diwan. Our recipients in the gold level for Barbara James Service Award are Isaac Parker and Kastuba Reddy. Next are our HOSA Happenings chapters qualifying for the ILC. Congratulations to Aiken Career Center and Applied Technology. Once again, congratulations to all competitors, finalists, and medalists who are here today. South Carolina will have outstanding representation at the Virtual International Leadership Conference. South Carolina HOSA, please join me in thanking Mr. Siegler. By the end of May, conference participants will receive a souvenir t-shirt, a souvenir pin, and a participation certificate via the U.S. Postal Service to the address that you provided in your student contact form. If you were a first, second, or third place winner, you will also receive your medal and printed certificate. As SC HOSA Board Chair and on behalf of the SC HOSA Executive Committee and Board of Directors, we would like to say how very proud we are of all the students who participated in this virtual conference. So guys, don't be discouraged if you didn't place. Just plan to come back next year even stronger. Congratulations to all the students who have further opportunity to participate in the upcoming Virtual International Leadership Conference June 24th through 27th, 2020. All chapter advisors and eligible competitive event winners will receive an email with specific information about registering for this virtual conference. Please contact Angel Clark, our SC HOSA director, with any questions by Tuesday, May 5th. Thank you, South Carolina, for making this virtual conference a success. Best of luck to our ILC conference competitors. On behalf of Executive Team 42, we want to thank SC HOSA for a great year of fun and leadership development. At this time, I am passing the gavel to our new SC HOSA Executive Council. Hi, SC HOSA. It brings me so much joy to be here. I would like to thank you for all of your participation and hard work. We look forward to seeing all students and HOSA chapters back in Charleston next year for a face-to-face -face conference. On behalf of the newly elected 2020-21 State Executive Council, Team 43, we pledge your determination to do our best to represent you well. With your help, we can strike back to make South Carolina HOSA the best student organization in the state. Thank you for your vote of confidence in our ability to direct HOSA's program of work during the next year as we move towards tomorrow. I now declare the 42nd Annual South Carolina Hosts State Leadership Conference adjourned.